brave enough to go without a shirt? I don't know. I'll tell you what, these guys are trying to keep warm down there. They look like they're staying warm up above, but they got a lot more clothing on than these 15 drivers right now. We're getting ready, ladies and gentlemen, for the Pro Light Final. Here's the way they line up. Andy Leaders is your number one qualifier. He won the race last night. Can he make it a sweep here in Besmer at the Northern Clearing Snowcross? We'll soon find out. Andrew Carlson was on the podium. He's been on every podium so far this year in the Pro Light class. Zach Mason out of Leighton Motorsports qualifies number three. John Stenberg from, of course, Bowerly Brother Racing. Digital Link, the sponsor, was on the podium last night that's scary that is scary right there he qualified number four then you've got corn todd dylan hall corey watkinson marcus johansson chase rosemeyer nick Patton. that's the front row we go to the back row michael george riley mcclellan maxine telfair trevor layton and travis muller those are the 15 drivers seven laps coming up pro light final oh keep the music going give me that music back let's hear it yeah this is what we've been talking about. It's been 364 days since we've been here last. We have got the best pro light snow cross riders right here trackside. 15 riders. Sleds are fired off. We're ready to go. The fans are on their feet trying to stay warm. But no worries. You're going to forget all about the cold in about two seconds because we're going green. Your number one qualifier was on the left-hand side. Whoa, this is gonna get ugly. <laughs> Thank you. And Andy Leaders finds the line across with an awesome hole shot. Glenn Kafka had that sled set up perfectly. He's out in front. Without a doubt, man, he had the hole shot. Once again, it was that perfect picture of Moses opening up the waters, nobody was there. The line was there and he took it with nobody around. Seven laps to go, Kafka out in front, finds his way down the U.S. Air Force flyaway the first time, right behind him, Andrew Carlson. Carlson on the 151 Polaris, here again the whole shot. On the left, left hand side, side. Yep. there he is, works right in and look at the bumping and banging that went on, I believe that was Corn Todd that got together with one of the drivers. As our leaders go by, it's Andy Leaders in the 857. 1.3 seconds out in front of Andrew Carlson, Zach Mason running in third. Leaders still working back out front. Boy, there's, I'll tell you what, oh, Carlson Some, had a yeah. problem in the corner. Guy kind of, what, kicked off to the wrong side. He wanted to be leaning to the right. Instead, he kind of fell off to the left and had to collect himself when there's a battle for third and fourth. Well, yeah, then, so he fell back because that sled right behind him, and if I look at the helmets, that may be Zach Mason. We'll wait and we'll set him up when we look at the telemetry next time by. It's so hard to see numbers on these machines. The 227 there making his way around. That's Marcus Johansson. That's one of the sport tech sleds. Did quite well in one of his rounds of qualifying. And here's the interesting part. What you're seeing on the screen is exactly what these riders are going through. And our leader is looking behind as he crossed the line. Andrew Leaders is one, actually it's 2.8 seconds over Carlson and he's still looking around to find out where everybody is. Carlson right behind him, then Corn Todd, Marcus Johansson in fourth, it's Stenberg in fifth, Mason in sixth. Then you've got Patton, Rosemeyer, Hall, and Telfair. Those are your top 10 drivers. Again, Leaders is looking around, almost comes to a stop in that quicksand right-hand turn, and he's looking around, and we got a battle now for third. Corn Todd. Corn Todd, Marcus Johansson. And, of course, Johansson's teammate currently sitting in second. Could, uh, of course, uh, Sport Tech Racing and Carlson Motorsports find two drivers on the podium tonight? Well, I think there would be a party in the rig after this. It whether or not, then they have a great time. You know, we talked about, uh, or I talked to the Carlsons earlier about what happened last night. If you remember, Andrew Carlson led this race for quite a while, then fell off the pace. It was just kind of related that there were some mental mistakes. They just, they weren't prepared the way they needed to be. They had a big meeting, they got all squared away, and uh, they're feeling a lot more comfortable today. There's your leader, Andy Leaders. He was on top of the podium, on top of the box last night. Can he make it a sweep? Boy, it would be huge. 
for Levi Lavalli Racing and Mystic Lubricants. Oh, without a doubt. You know what? And Levi's the kind of guy where he may be having issues in his race, but as long as one of his teammates is, is doing it, he'd have that goofy grin on his face and you couldn't wipe it off. I'll tell you what, when Levi was hurt last year, he'd come in the booth and help us announce, and I'll tell you what, he was no more prouder of a win that he had than some of his teammates like Jake Scott, who of course was the pro-light champion last year. He was just rooting him on like you would not believe. And that's the kind of guy that that whole team is. They have such wonderful chemistry in that Levi Lavalli team, Glenn Kafka, all of the mechanics, all of the racers that get along extremely well. They have the same kind of uh, attitude, if you will, and it just pays off on the racetrack. Well, you just think of a weekend like this in this weather as once again, our leader goes by, Andrew Leaders uh, up front in that Polaris, Andrew Carlson going by as well, and Leaders is pulling away as he's got the fastest lap of the race for the 62.65, a 62.65, that's the fastest lap of the race on lap number two though. But as I started to say, when you're in weather conditions like this, you're either on the sled racing or inside the hauler, and when you're inside that hauler, what is it, square footage? Uh, we'll say what 500 feet square uh, square feet oh, oh. if that you know some of these guys got sliders but you're in there for three straight days with what three four five guys if not more and you kind of kind of like each other in those confines watching them as they come back down it's leaders there you see uh, that is uh, the uh, third place of corn Todd Magnuson right behind him and right ahead of him is the 151 that is Carlson, so it looks like Corn Todd has made up a little distance on Andrew Carlson as we continue to count down laps. Two left to go. Let's see what they do. Yeah, yeah, leaders is pulling away. He pulled up on nine tenths of a second this time by, and this is that ugly part of this track. Really, you can't actually, I stand corrected. He just doubled through it, but then he slammed the face of the next jump, and this is that corner. And everyone's having problems at it. He got through really clean that yeah, time. He was real smooth, didn't carry as much speed in, was able to transfer his weight over. Sled didn't dig as much, and he was able to get through that cleanly. The transfer of, uh, of course, power and breaking the, the clutching setup just uh, superbly on this sled as he goes back down that first downhill, and he'll make the other uphill. Horn Todd, you've seen there. Of course, Carlson between him and leaders. So flat white flag should be coming out this time around as our leader's making his way down that dirty dozen. Man, it's so hard to see white sled through that white snow dust. Jumping up the berm, hitting the Amsoil finish line. There's the white flag. Andrew Leaders had a six and a half second lead last time by as the battle for second still rages on. And once again, Leaders has pulled away by another three tenths of a second. I'll tell you where the battle's going to be is that battle for that last podium position. Right now, Carlson's got about an eight tenths of a second lead over Corn Todd. And Carlson was faster on that lap, so it'll be interesting to see how they end up on the podium. But Andy Leader's looking comfortable out front. There is Corn Todd, and Corn Todd has gotten by Andrew Carlson. Corn Todd on the 136, it's Carlson on the 151, and then right behind him is his teammate, Marcus Johansson. So something happened in that one portion of the racetrack that Corn Todd was able to get by. And our leader hitting down towards that uh, dirty dozen one final time through all this snow dust. Double checkers are out as we watch yeah. him come down to the bottom. He's gonna stay. He takes the inside over that little kicker and the double checkered flags. There's your winner, Andy Leaders. Here's your battle for two and three. That is going to be Corn Todd in the battle Corn for Todd third. Right at the line. Carlson, Carlson will take hangs on. Marcus Johansson. Well, the two teammates about a half second apart for three and four. Pretty consistent racing for the uh, team. Carlson continues his streak. Been on four podiums. He's four for four. Not a bad job. Once again, we'll take a look at the whole shot from the start of the race. And watch that inside line. Nobody around, very clean. It's like they all went way out to the left and go, go ahead and take the inside line. And once again, Leaders pulls away and there's the double checkered flag at the Amsoil finish line. Andrew Leaders on his Polaris. The number 857 takes another win. And incidentally, these, those boys, 
race through the worst weather conditions we've had yet this weekend. Temperatures are still dropping. Just want to throw that out there. Seven laps of great racing by our drivers. They're being directed up to, of course, the Amsoil <coughs> Championship Snowcross, powered by Ram Victory Circle. You all right there? I'm uh, here. I'm here. I just want you to know I'm here for you. So all right, just keep throwing me on the back. Not man. a problem. So probably Hit me. Not nothing. If you want a cough drop, go ahead. <laughs> Been a long weekend for us here, and of course, uh, running in and out of the cold and stuff like that doesn't do the vocal cords any good either. A lot of congratulatory handshakes and high fives going on down in the course winner's circle. And we'll try to expedite this so we can get everybody into the warmth. Let's go. Well, we have now crested that minus 30 yeah. degree mark. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, everybody, his name's Scott Wren. If you want his phone number, you can call him this week to let him know how warm it is here in Besmer when he's back in California. <laughs> Big Bear is giving me a hug. Dude, don't thank walk away. Kindly. Come on, man. There we go. That's I need warmth. Minus 30 degrees. I cannot remember the last time I felt that. Well, you, you, you'll probably feel it yet. It'll be colder yet tonight, I promise you. There you see Glenn Kafka down there congratulating his driver, Andy Leaders. Uh, Glenn is such a great guy. I was in the trailer yesterday, talked to him a little bit. He had a drawer open full of clutch parts. And, of course, Team Industries made some changes to their clutches here a year or so ago. He said, I had to get rid of them, and I had to buy all new parts. Well, Glenn, they're working. Trust me. Let's meet our top three here in the Pro Light Final. Your number three finisher. There have been four podiums in Pro Light. He's been on it each and every time. Tonight, in third place, out of Big Lake, Minnesota, racing for Polaris Vortex, PMC and Best Western, on the number 151 Polaris, Andrew Carlson. Your number two finishers out of Otigo, New York, racing for Polaris Fly, Walker Evans, Amsoil, Bully Dog, and Leighton Motorsports on the number 136 Polaris, Corn Todd. And your winner makes it a sweep here at Blackjack Ski Resort and, of course, the Northern Clearing Snowcross. One last night takes the number one spot again tonight out of Colby, Wisconsin, racing for Mystic Lubricants, Loctite, Polaris, and FXR Racing. His name, Andy Leaders. Congratulations, guys. Let's go down trackside to Timmy Layton. Thanks, Mikey. All right, so, Andrew, going from second to third, obviously you were really close to Corin. Talk to me about the visibility once you're behind that roost as well. Uh, you know, I feel like it was a little worse in the, in the second heat, though I think the wind's picking up, so that's helping a little bit. But, uh, you know, I'm just pumped to be up here for the fourth time in a row, and... Uh, just trying to be consistent. I got a little bit to work on with my speed. And uh, I know I got a big break in front of me. I know what I need to do, so I'll be ready. And who do you want to thank tonight? Uh, just everyone on my team, my mom and dad, Josh, De uh, Derek, Haas, Jesse, everyone on the trailer, uh, FXR, Fossil Motorsports, Polaris. Uh, sled was ripping all weekend. Uh, just got to thank everyone for helping me out and uh, getting me up here every time, so it's fun. Congratulations, Andrew. All right, Corin comes in second place. Last lap, last lap pass. How are you feeling about that last lap? Oh, you know, it's such a good race with Andrew. The whole race, we were close. Um, we both made mistakes. Neither of us capitalized on it. I made a good clean pass at the end of the race, so uh, I'm really excited. Everything's working really good this weekend. And who do you want to thank tonight? Oh, I got to thank Leighton Motorsports Polaris. Uh, everybody from crew is working so hard. Um, Ben's got my shocks working really good this weekend. Uh, Junior, special thanks to him. Um, Brad in the parts department, uh, my mechanic Josh, or Ray, everybody's worked on everybody's stuff this weekend, it's been crazy, so uh, thanks to everybody in the trailer, uh, and all our uh, sponsors, um, Fly for sure, Walker Evans, uh, Bad Endorsement, Rocks, Amsoil, big sponsor there, uh, Real Cameras, Stud Boy, I'm out of breath, it's so cold, um, Stud Boy, uh, Dragon Racing Fuels, Action Graphics, Snow X365, and uh, everybody else that sponsors us. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Corin. Andy Leaders, you came here and you swept the weekend. You must be pretty comfortable with this track out here. Oh, man. I, 
I am just so pumped for this weekend. Uh, you know, like I said, we struggled in Duluth and the whole team was behind me and, you know, we got things turned around this weekend and, uh, you know, I can't thank the whole team enough. Everybody in the trailer, my uncles, everybody that worked so hard to give me great equipment and uh, just Lavalli, Team Lavalli and all the team sponsors, Mystic Lubricants, Loctite, Polaris, LG, Fox Shocks, Earth Inc, Woody's, um, all the Kafka's, Kafka Granite, Kafka Conveyors, uh, FXR. I mean everybody. Just I know I forgot some. And thank you. This is this is just unreal. Congratulations, you three. I'm gonna send it back to the group because we have a panel coming up next. Thanks.